Howdy folks, welcome back to Bow Ties and Ballistics. I am Blake. I'm Gavin. Today we have a Mossberg 500 with a 28 inch barrel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so really an American classic. I mean, I'd say so. Really just years and millions of these produced all around our country. I mean, you know, police, you know, for a while there, the military not so much anymore since the M4 showed up. But I mean, really anybody, just a classic pump shotgun unloaded, of course. Good old yeah, sounds good. <laughs> uh, this one completely factory, of course. Oh, yeah. This one actually came from Walmart about <laughs> what? seven months ago I'd say. I'd say so so yeah uh you know 28 inch barrel blued got you know white bb sight with also this uh, a couple of features i like are the little bb hang safety That's tang a really safety and the feature of this gun really handy makes it ambidextrous kind of you know i mean the shells is still eject from the right but and this you know, the release is also in a really good spot there. yeah as you can see slide release yard. right here you know, an 870's got the slider release right here, which is fine, but I mean, just it, it's just more of a slightly inconvenient, more of a reach here. Uh, you know, the receiver is uh, tapped and drilled for a scope, scope if you were to do it. You know, oh, yeah. As you'll see later, this thing could be an effective uh, center fire rifle. <laughs> uh, nice checkering. You know, I like the contour here. You know, it makes yeah. it really easy to rack. It's not quite as good as a wood as you'd find on a higher end rifle, but that's not the purpose of this gun. This is a gun that you bring out to the field and just shoot, hunt with, Heck have yeah. a good time with it. Pump shotgun, this one, uh, you know, depending on who you're talking to, uh, this one holds a uh, five plus one. Uh, of course, if you get one and you're actually hunting with it, you know, it's really supposed to be a two plus one, but yeah, yeah so overall, pretty good looking shotgun. Uh huh. Today, out of the Mossberg 500, we have Monarch Wing and Clay and Winchester Super X rifled slugs. Oh, gonna be shooting some Monarch target load with this old girl today, 12 gauge. Yep, and today we've also got our Allen Clay thrower and our Blackout White Flyers. You know, a real fan favorite around here. <laughs> it's been a trooper. Only had it been welded on once so far. Hey, you know, it could be worse. <laughs> yep. All right, got five in this old girl. Shooting doubles. Gotcha. Pull. Got them both. You know, it really makes you feel good. Oh, you yeah. can hit them both with a pump shotgun. <laughs> Let's hit a single. Sounds good. Bolt. And then doubles. Got two shells left in this shooter. Let's make the most of them. Of course. Bolt. One clay really caught yes, with sir. the wind there, didn't it? <laughs> Put me another five in. It's a good little devil's clay thrower, you know, also in a Walmart purchase, so. Heck yeah. You know, as you can tell, Walmart's our, our good friend, I guess. Budget I mean, friendly. whether that's for the best or not. <laughs> Alrighty. Fold. So, what are your initial impressions? Good shooter. Nice and light. Good for the field. I kind of like this rib here. It raises my face up just enough. Pull. 
finish strong. What a unit. Back Heck yeah. You. I mean, folks, he doesn't like the sound of that. <laughs> It's a nice day out. Oh, Good yeah. day for shooting. Nice fall day. A little more, more unpredictable, but not too bad. Go single at you. Sounds good. Whipping. Pull. Right on. Heck yeah, we'll load up another five. You know, I do like this uh, magazine loader. It's not too sharp, so it doesn't really cut your hands. I mean, I could see it if you really uh, was rough with it, but feels pretty good to me. Feels pretty good. You know, and as far as you know, condition held up really well. And of course, we've yeah. taken the care of it. Nothing's majorly it. gone wrong with it yet. So, Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Right. Let's send it. Miss that one. When it gets a little warmer out, I won't be shooting with the back to the basics for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, pull. There you go. Yeah, how's that for you? Oh, looking good. Well, that's the only thing that we can do around here. <laughs> All right, pull. Oh yeah, shot the middle right out of her. Here, you want a shell? Dang, well, <laughs> gotta be quick on that, folks. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, good balanced gun. Recoil's not terrible, could use a recoil pad, but just, you know, haven't really gotten around to that yet. Right. But, otherwise, I like it. Something about a pump action really gives you something to do. Uh -huh. um, you know, a lot of fun. Well guys, let's see what the Winchester Super X rifled slugs does to a couple of milk jugs. You know, never know when you're gonna run into a jug in the wild. Exactly. Guys, how much fun was that? I mean, really nothing better than a slug coming out of a shotgun. Especially when you just dust some nice jugs, so. Anyways, now it's time to see if we can't hit our AR-500 steel target. All right, guys, a little more fun here. Let's see if we can knock down that orange target, you know. Occasionally, certain colors, I can't quite see a little bit of color blind between certain colors, and I don't feel too good about that orange, so let's knock some off of it. Ooh, missed. Well, uh, we're going to have to reset that one for the last shot. Assassinated that poor rig. Dear God, it just flew off. <laughs> let's let's bring this back. Oh, yeah. I think you killed her all right. Yeah, I mean, absolutely smoked it, guys. So, <laughs> anyways, well, now we know what a slug can do to this plate. Blake decided that I couldn't be the one having all the fun with the slugs, so now Blake's going to try some out of the Mossberg. Let's take a crack at her. Throw it. Mm. 
smoked her. Well, let's talk about the value on this rig. Yeah, so um, this gun was about $325 after tax. So overall, I mean, a good value if you take care of it, it's gonna last forever. I mean, now that was Walmart pricing, so yeah, other, so other places it could be a little more, but um, yeah. So if you if you oil it and you you know take care of your bluing, then you're not gonna have any problems. And even if you do, I mean, you can order new barrels. That's what's you know so popular about this gun is just the interchangeability. I mean, really, in theory, you could just make this a pistol grip. Right. I mean, I don't recommend that. But. Pretty cool with Mossberg. You can really customize a unit if you want to do so. Yeah. Um, when shooting those slugs, this thing definitely shoots a little high. But, uh, you know, real real yeah. world reviews and shooting. We both figured that one out in yeah. real time. So. Yeah, figured that out. <laughs> Hope you guys en enjoyed that. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So another so. feature I like about this rig, it comes cap for a sling. So that's really handy if you want to hunt with it. Yeah, overall, if you're looking for something that's, you know, pretty budget friendly, but, you know, also durable and also like a good shooter, you know, maybe a lot of recoil with the, the slugs, but. <laughs> hey, you know, recoil can be fun. Hey, it can. That is true. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, and all, you know, reliable, you know, it cycles everything if you actually, you know, rack the action. Yeah, it helps, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Sorry, had to get on him a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, so overall a good shooter, and we will see you guys in the next video.